Well, he hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, uh, rate of flow, quadratic expression, quadratic formula, and this is from uh, a past uh, IGCSE exam question. Uh, this this question here is uh, number seven out of eleven, so it gets progressively more difficult as you move along. Okay, so. What you have is a tank full of water and the capacity of the tank is 300 liters. Now, the amount of water left, left in the tank at any given time is given by this formula here of 300 minus t squared minus 2t where t is the time. Okay, and we are then asked to calculate this year, he said, calculate the volume in liters of water flowing out of the tank in the first 12 minutes. Then. So we need to apply this formula and replace T with 12. So now we've got uh, 300 minus 12 squared minus 2 times 12 L. So that's the amount of water left in the tank in the 12th minute there. Okay. Now I want to find the amount of water flowing out of the wall uh, out of the tank in the first 12th minute there. So we need to do some subtraction from the original 300 liters. What's left is this one here. And when you subtract You get 168 liters. So that's the answer for part one. And then for part two, it says calculate the volume in liters of water which flows out of the tank during the 15th minute. The amount of water which flows out after the tank during the 15th minute. So you need to find the amount of water left uh, at the 14th minute. And the amount of water left in the 15th minute and the difference will be the amount of water that's flowed out of the tank in the 15th minute there so what you then do is you apply the formula twice once for 14 minute minute uh, again for 15th minute and the difference will give you the amount of water which flows out of the tank during the 15th minute there and we get the answer of 31 liters I hope all that makes okay. sense. Okay, now for sections uh, uh, C and D, uh, we're asked to calculate, for well, section C that is, uh, the rate of change of the volume of water when T is 5. Now, straight away, this phrase here, rate of change, triggers uh, DVDT in this case. So, what we had originally. Was this one here? So that I'm going to differentiate uh, B with respect to T. So I now have dv by dt is equal to minus 2t minus 2. If I then substitute 5 for t, I have minus 2 times 5. Is minus 10, then minus 10 minus 2 will give me minus 12 liters per minute. There now, notice here that I've got a minus sign here, okay, because I, I'm trying to represent the rate at which uh, water uh, is lost, okay. So it should be minus 12 liters per minute. There, that should be the answer, right? For section D. We are asked to calculate in minutes to 3SF how long it takes for all of the water, it's going to be for all of the water to flow out of the tank. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring this formula down to here. Okay. And instead, you also write the, so I, 
no, I do exchange V to right hand side and the three minus T square minus two T to the left hand side. Now if we want to find the rate for which all of the water is flows out of the tank, if that means that T is sorry, if that means that V is zero, right? So we now have minus two square minus two T plus three hundred. And I can see I cannot factorize this um, expression here. So I'm going to use the uh, quadratic formula in order to find t. So what I've done is this one here. Minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac. Now minus b in this case, now b in this case is minus 2. And a in this case, a is minus 1. That's a there. Okay? Now, because and then when you uh, minus minus two give us plus two and minus two square will give us four so we end up with this here okay now four plus twelve hundred will give us two hundred four if I do two minus the square root of two hundred four I'm going to get a negative sign there. There's no point in a positive sign there because if you divide positive by a negative, you're going to get negative there. So I'm going to divide negative by a negative sign there to be any positive. So I'm going to discuss the, discuss the plus sign there and use a 2 minus the square root of 4 plus 1200 there. And when you do your uh, calculation, you end up with this here. The t is equal to 16.349 minutes there. But we want an answer to 3SF. So the answer then becomes uh, t is equal to 16.3 minutes. And then that's the answer to 3SF. And I hope all that made some sense. And please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. And bye bye now.